everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video in today's video we're going to be printing with um aero filament so i bought some of the asa aero as well as the pla aero from bamboo lab and i thought it would be cool to print some stuff with it and see what it was like um, as I dug into it more and more, I figured out that it wasn't just lighter filament, but there's also some cool properties along with um, the aero filaments. So in today's video, we'll go ahead and print um, some samples with it and do um, the different settings that are recommended on Bamboo's page for each of the filaments and see what those differences in density and things um, like that. And we'll see how to set up the printer to do the different prints with the aero filament. So I thought it'd be really, really cool um, to test it out and to do some things with it. And if we get a hundred comments on this video, then we'll do a video on making a rocket with some of this uh, filament. I've never done a model rocket or anything before, but I think um, the aero filament would be great for that. So be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment below on which one of the filaments you want me to build a rocket out of, and we'll shoot that thing into the sky. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so let's go ahead and get the printer set up to dry the ASA Arrow as it needs ADC for eight hours. So let's get that set up. So we'll hit prepare, the printer will do a couple of things and then we'll get ready to put it inside. All right, so once it's done preparing, we'll see this. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. And we'll get the filament loaded and hit start. All right, so we have the filament in there. I also have this cover that I printed out of PC. If you don't have a cover for this, just cut the top of the box off and use that. Now let's get the PLA loaded in the S4. I set the S4 at 55C for eight hours. Um, so they both take eight hours to dry. The ASA is at 80C and the PLA is at 55C. So we'll go ahead and get those dried and let's take a look at the website as these are drying. All right, so here we are on Bamboo's website for the PLA Aero. We'll see specialized for 3D RC planes, printing, load density and lightweight, tough and good impact resistant matte finish for easy coloring or painting, um, comes with basic reusable spool, recommended to dry out, which we're doing right now. Um, so that's the only thing that I really read about this before purchasing it. And then when I was preparing for this video, I saw that there's a little bit more to it than just low density and lightweight. And the, there's different things that you can do to print with it to control the density of it. Um, if you want to make different things that fly through the air. Um, so at first glance here, the weight of the basic and the arrow is 50% less um and we'll take a look at that we'll print a little sample of just pla basic and a sample of the pla arrow and then we'll weigh the two of them the other thing is controllable model density and everything here so you know here's printing temperature of 220 flow rate of 0.7 here they've increased the temperature and decreased the flow rate and you'll see that it, um, you know, lowered the weight of, I guess, the same volume of object here. Um, so you can kind of control the density of it. So we'll give that a shot as well. We'll try printing one at the normal, um, like we'll do right here. We'll take that one and then we'll print one with these settings here and see what the differences are between the two that we printed there. So that's what we'll do with the PLA and we'll see that the same thing, um, is true for the ASA. And if you want to look here, they go into great detail over each of the things like printing speed, um, 
as it increases, increases the stability or keeps it stable. The flow rate increases density as the flow rate increases. So if we drop the um, flow rate, then the density will drop as we see here. And we'll try that as well. Uh, wall loops, if you increase that, it increases the density. Infill density um, increases it as well. And then here it shows a couple of different um, maximum volumetric expansion ratio. So if you really need this to expand or the foaming rate and all of this stuff, you can really dial in stuff that you want to fly through the air with this filament, which is really, really cool. Um, so we'll try a little bit of this. We're not going to go through every one of these, but we'll try this example on this one. So now let's take a look at the ASA. All right, so here we are on the ASA site, and you'll see that this only comes in one color water and uv resistance so as we've seen with um you know asa in the past you know the uv resistance outdoors and everything like that makes a lot of sense tough and good impact resistance another thing that we've um seen with asa and this says ultra lightweight and low density uh, comes with the high temperature re reusable spool dry out before use which we're doing right now 80 c for this one 55 c for the PLA and let's go down to um, <clears throat> it shows a couple of differences between the PLA arrow and the ASA arrow from toughness uh, layer adhesion and layer strength are all better with the ASA than they are with the PLA and that may make a difference in how you vote for which one that we want to make a rocket out of um, so be sure to leave a comment down below as to which one of these you want me to build a rocket out of, and we will do that. And this says it's 45% lighter than ASA, and again, we'll print with some ASA, a little sample of both, and um, look at how much they weigh. And then you'll see the same type of... Um, diagram that we saw on the PLA and again we'll we'll try that same um, thing we'll increase the temperature decrease the flow rate and see if it decreases the density like it did with the PLA this is ready for harsh environment and outdoors so anything like if you were trying to print out a model boat or something like that this might be something really good um, to do with that because you can um, you know, get it to expand, um, get the density down or, you know, increase the foaming or whatever. I think that may help with it floating in the water or something like that. And again, it shows a couple of differences between, um, you know, just regular bamboo ASA, the PLA arrow. So it does print at a higher temperature. The printing speed is a little bit slower. The flow rate is a little bit less. Uh, the filament density is less. Uh, the foaming rate is less. The volumetric expansion ratio looks to be about the same, just a little bit less on the high end there. And the print density is um, definitely less than this. Um, for all of the benefits that you get for ASA, that's pretty good, right? Especially with toughness and everything like that. And you can see here the piece of PLA chipping off and staying together with the ASA. All right. So I'll go ahead and get these loaded in the AMS once the uh, filament is dry. And then I'll see you in Bamboo Studio. Right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio. Our filaments have been dried and they've been loaded into the AMS. So you'll see the PLA is here and the ASA is here. If you don't see um, the arrow options as filament in here, these loaded by the AMS and everything, but if you don't have this set in uh, Bamboo Studio, you won't see these filaments here. And if that is the case, just hit this little gear icon and make sure there's a check mark next to the arrow filaments. Anytime they add new filaments, it may not be checked in here. Um, so always double check in here that all of these are checked and I always hit the all button there. 
All right, so now let's load a sample in here and we'll print it with the PLA arrow in black and the PLA arrow or the PLA basic in black. And then we'll take a look at um, what the difference in weight is to see if it is in fact 50% less like it states. So give me one second to find the model. All right, so we have two of the samples loaded in here. One of them is the PLA arrow, and this one is the normal PLA. You'll see that we have a prime tower right here. Um, so one of the tricks that we wanna do here is um, go over to others, and we can do print by object. And now we'll just print each of these objects and we won't have a prime tower, and that'll take way less time. We'll go ahead and set these, set this. If you hit this button here, it'll set them in place so that it can print around each one of them there. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll leave everything the same so we haven't changed any of the settings in either of the arrows or in the basic here. So let's go ahead and slice this. And if you ever want to close this little option thing here, you just hit collapse right there. And we'll see one hour and 26 minutes to print both of them. So I'll see you when it gets done. Oh, one of the things that we need to do is change this to the smooth engineering plate. Slice it again, still an hour and 26. We don't want to do the flow dynamics calibration because we're using one of the prismatic plates. So let's go ahead and send it to the printer and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so let's go ahead and start weighing the PLA and we'll start with the PLA basic and that weighs 17.26 grams. Now let's try the arrow at regular settings and we'll see that that's 9.55, which is considerably less than just the normal PLA basic. I think that's about half or not quite half. So now let's go ahead and change the settings um, and in increase the temperature and decrease the flow rate and see if that does decrease the density or decrease how much it weighs here. So I'll meet you in Bamboo Studio and we'll check that out. All right, so here we are back on the website for the PLA. And as we um, saw it, it say here to control the model density, we raise the temperature and lower the flow rate. So let's go ahead and try that and we'll put these settings in there and see what the difference is between a normal uh, PLA arrow and the normal settings. All right, so now we have printed it out with the increased temperature and uh, decreasing the flow rate and you'll see that it weighs uh, you know almost two grams less by doing that as well um, so if you really need to lighten something up that's an easy way to do it so now let's do the same thing with the asa now that we're done with the pla we can start to print with the asa you'll see that i have some asa in number five here and the asa arrow in number two i have those selected here accordingly so we'll go ahead and slice the plate. And I do wanna to change to the textured PEI plate. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Looking at an hour and 35 minutes. So it does print a little bit slower than the uh, PLA. So let's go ahead and get that printed and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are done printing the ASA and the ASA uh, normal is at 13.87. So now let's check out the ASA arrow and we'll see the ASA arrow on the normal settings dropped it down to 7.64. So almost in half again, I think it quoted 45%. That seems about right. So now let's increase the temperature and decrease the flow rate in Bamboo Studio. And I'll see you when we get there. All right, so here we are on the ASA arrow website. <clears throat> and let's try a similar thing um, like we did with the PLA arrow. And this time let's increase the temperature and decrease the uh, flow rate and um, get the maximum expansion and foaming rate that we can out of it. So let's go ahead and jump into Bamboo Studio. We have the ASA arrow selected. Now let's change this to 0.44 and change this up to 280. 
and let's see what that does to it. And again, we'll save this and we'll just save it as lower density. All right, increasing the temperature and decreasing the flow rate are supposed to lower the density. So let's go ahead and slice that. And we'll see, it's gonna take about 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and get that printed and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, and now that we've printed with the updated settings, you'll see that it is at 6.51. So the arrow is really, really cool um, because you can just adjust some settings and really affect the density of it. So this is going to come into play a lot for a lot of things in the RC industry. I would, I would say if you're big into RC, I would start messing around with this arrow for some of the parts that you have. Uh, change the density and the volume and everything. You know, I would think ASA arrow might be good for RC boats. Um, anything that needs to go in water or be waterproof, I think this would be good for planes, drones, um, and especially rockets. So make sure you leave a comment below and tell me which one of these you want me to build a rocket out of. And I'll go hunt down a model, motor, launch station, all of that stuff, and we'll make a rocket. Um, so leave in the comments below which one you want me to use on that and I will use it on this. So if you haven't already, go ahead and get some of this PLA arrow or the ASA arrow, really, really cool stuff. Start to mess around with some of this density and everything. I think you'll find that it's really, really cool and can come in very handy for uh, different use cases. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see everybody next weekend. Bye, thanks for watching.